All right. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for getting on. Please like, share. Good evening. I'm going to go early. I'm going to make sure I tag, get enough time to tag people. Good evening. Thanks for getting on. Please like, share the video. Appreciate you joining. at 11 30 about to get started get on get your bibles out Right. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. It's almost almost ten thirty. Please like and share as we are about to get started with late night with the word. Amen. Thank you for getting on. Thanks for joining.
Thanks for getting on. Please like and share. Hey, hon. Thanks for getting on. Happy to see that you're on. We're all, we are almost at 1030 and it's about time to get started. You ready to get started with Late Night with the Word? Please like and share. You get in. Say something in the comments so I know you're here. Amen. We're about to read God's Word for today. We are... In Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, and we're going to be doing Matthew, the 25th chapter, I believe, today. Hey, Aunt Tootie, thanks for getting on. I love you. Appreciate you. Good evening. Oh, my life's on. Mr. Keisha's on. Appreciate you. Thanks for getting on. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm drinking coffee tonight. And to keep up, it's 1030. All right, it is time for Late Night with the Word, where we end our night with God's Word. It is 1030 on December the 29th. Amen. We have just a couple more days in the year 2022. And God has kept us all the way up until today. And he is worthy to be praised. Amen. God is great. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. For just your mercy and your love, God, and just keeping us all day long and watching over us. And now we are here. We're going to read our word of God. Amen. Um, for our lives, it's been a good day. God has kept us. It's warmed up a little bit. It's not three degrees. Um, it's not the warmest, but it's better than what it was. God is still faithful. Um, I know he has got me. I have a reasonable portion of health and strength. Hey, Aunt Linda, thanks for getting on. Please like and share video when you guys get on. Um, I appreciate everyone following. Get your Bible out. Get ready to read. We got two scriptures tonight. We are almost at the end of the year. Our late night with the word. There's a late night with the word fan page on Facebook. If you have not liked that, please go like that page. Amen. I appreciate the support. And there is also a late night with the word YouTube channel. Please go follow, subscribe. Hit that bell, get the notification so you know when there are new videos posted so you don't miss anything. All videos that are, are done are going to be posted up there. I love, love to. I love you too, Aunt Tootie. I appreciate you. Me and my wife love you as well. We're happy you get on. We appreciate your support. We love all our family. I love you guys. I love Aunt Linda's on. Sure, Cousin Teresa will be on in a little bit. Cousin Angie might be on in a little bit. But I'm thankful for everyone who gets on. Like and share when you get on. Amen. Let's uh, share God's word together. I'm going to be tagging people so that people know I'm missing them when I don't see them. Amen. I want to just get them on. I know some people will never just get on or watch or. Um, because it's late and that's OK, but I still like to tag people, get people on here, try to spread God's word, wake up in the morning. You might see that you've been tagged in something you'll take the time and you'll watch it and listen to God's word, read God's word for your life. Amen. And if you are wise, you will implement what you learn in your life of Christ. Amen. In your walk of Christ. Amen. So we thank God for you. We appreciate you. Amen. It is almost um, the end of the year. God has been faithful all this 2022. Amen. We have been reading God's word since August together. And we are right now in the book of Jeremiah and in the book of Matthew. We're reading those two books. Amen. For your hearing. And I hope that you're following along with me. Amen. I'm turning my do not disturb. All right. 
And I hope that you're following along with me. I hope that you like and share the video. Amen. Thanks for getting on, Cousin Teresa. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. Um, again, get your Bibles out. Get ready to, to follow along as we get ready to read God's word. Amen. God is good and worthy to be praised. And I definitely thank God for you all. So Yolanda send love always on 2D. Oh, on 2D, Yolanda's on. You get we can see your comment. Hopefully she's still awake. I know she she's she's trying to stay awake to support me. And I really appreciate that. It's late for her. But she was on just a couple of seconds ago. And I appreciate you getting on. We love you. We thank God for you. I thank God for your support and your love. All my aunties that get on here and my cousins and family members that get on here and support, I definitely appreciate that. Um, please like and share the video. Say hi when you come in. If you're new, you're a continuing or a returning um, viewer, please say hello. Let's share God's word. Let's interact. Okay, remember, we're going to pray and then we're going to start reading our two scriptures. Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, I just thank you for today. Thank you for just giving us a mind to want to seek you tonight, God, for our lives, God. Allow us to um, allow us to decrease ourselves, God, so that you may increase in our life, God. God, give us wisdom and understanding of your word so that we may not just be hearers, but doers of your word, God. Conforming our lives to your word that we may be pleasing in your sight, God. We love you. And we thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for getting on again. It is late night with the word, December 29th, 2022. We are reading Jeremiah, the fifth chapter in the Old Testament. Get your Bibles out. Get ready to read with us. Amen. God is good and worthy to be praised. If he's been good to you, give him some time today. Let's follow him and let's read his word for our lives. If you have not already, Please like the Facebook page for Late Night with the Word. It is out there for you. And also go to YouTube, subscribe to the Late Night with the Word channel so that you don't miss any Late Night with the Word as you're able to see um, previous Late Night with the Words that have been posted. Amen. We are live on Facebook. Next year we'll, we'll be live. Hopefully on Facebook and YouTube so that people are able to join that are not friends with me on Facebook or not connected with me on Facebook. We want to spread God's word as far and as wide as we can. So I hope that you help me do that. I hope that you support me doing that. I hope that you um, like and share the video. Say your God's word, amen. And I hope that you join me and read God's word with me. Amen. So we are getting ready to read Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. You have your Bibles, it's in the Old Testament. Amen. And it's Jeremiah chapter five, Old Testament. Jeremiah chapter 5. Run to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. See now and know and seek in her open places. If you can find a man, if there is anyone who executes judgment, who seeks the truth, and I will pardon her. Though they say, as the Lord lives, surely they swear falsely. O oh Lord, are not your eyes on the truth? You have stricken them, but they have not grieved. You have consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I said, surely these are poor, they are foolish, for they do not know the way of the Lord, the judgment of their God. I will go to the great man and speak to them, for they have known the way of the Lord, 
the judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. Therefore, a lion from the forest shall slay them. A wolf of the desert, desert shall destroy them. A, le a leopard will watch over their city. Everyone who goes out from there shall be torn to pieces because their transgressions are many. Their backsliding has increased. How shall I pardon you from this? Your children has forsaken me and sworn my, by those who are not gods. When I have fed them to, full, to the full, then they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot's house. They were like well-fed lusty stallions. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Go up on her walls and destroy, but do not make a complete end. Take away her branches, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously with me, says the Lord. They have lied about the Lord and said, it is not he. Neither will evil come upon us, nor shall we see sword or famine. And the prophets become wind, for the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done to them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Behold, I will bring a nation against you from afar, O house of Israel, says the Lord. It is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation a nation whose language you do not know, nor can you understand what they say. Their quiver is like a open tomb. They are all mighty men. And they shall eat up your harvest and your bread, which your sons and daughters should eat. They shall eat up your flocks and your herds. They shall eat up your vines and your fig trees. They shall destroy your fortified cities in which you trust with the sword. Nevertheless, in those days, says the Lord, I will not make a complete end of you. And it will be when you say, why does the Lord our God do all these things to us? Then you shall answer them, just as you have, just as you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land so you shall serve aliens in the land that is not yours. Declare this to the house of Jacob and proclaim, and proclaim it in Judah, saying, Hear this now, O foolish people, without understanding, who have eyes and see not, and who have ears and hear not. Do not fear me. Do you not fear me, says the Lord? Will you not tremble at my presence? Who have placed the sands as the bound of the sea by the perpetual decree that it cannot pass beyond it? And though it waves toss to and fro, yet they cannot prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. But these people have a defiant and rebellious heart. They have revolted and departed. They do not say in their hearts, let us not now fear the Lord our God, who gives rain both to the former and the latter in its season. He, reverse, he reserves for us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned these things away and your sins have withheld good from you. For among my people are found wicked, wicked men, 
They lie in wait as one who sets snares. They set a trap. They catch men as a cage is full of birds. So their house are full of deceit. Therefore, they have come, become great and grown rich. They have grown fat. They are sleek. Yes, they surpass the deeds of the wicked. They do not plead the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper. In the right of the needy, they do not defend. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? Shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? An astonishing and horrible thing has been committed in the hand, in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. The priests rule by their own power. And my people love to have it so. But what will you do in the end? May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. God's word is true. And we see that Jeremiah is talking in his justice of God's judgment. In Jeremiah 5, he is having a conversation. He indicates that the people are just hard-headed. They will not hear his words, do not heed his warning, but yet harden their hearts and live even more sinfully against God. They swear oaths to the name of the Lord, but they have no intention of being honorable. So they lie and they do these things and they forsake God. They forsake all the things of God. They forsake the law and the, the word of the prophet and they do their own thing. They go their own way. They've turned and worshiped other gods and continue to do so. And no matter what Jeremiah says to them, they continue to even get more wickeder and continue to do sinful things. So God indicates that from the north, they will be invaded by a great nation, a nation that will, will rule over them, that will cause them to be dispersed and to expand it from the land that God gave them. For they are sinful and have not turned from their ways, but he will not utterly destroy them. He never utterly destroys them, but he always leaves hope. He always gives them hope to turn back to him. He always gives them an opportunity to turn from their wicked ways. He always gives us an opportunity to recognize our wrongs. Lord will that you have an opportunity to recognize and to turn back from being and serving all those other gods, but to serve the God who we know is the true and living God. It's as he has told his people, he has declared to them what will be because of this disobedience. He also tells us what will happen to us and our disobedience as believers. So that was Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. I appreciate you reading and following along. This is late night with the word. Thank you, Lord, for being with us. God is not pleased with disobedience. He will chase and he will chase and those he loves. That's right. That's right, cuz. He chases those he loves. Amen. Amen. But I thank God for you all getting on and reading that. This is late night with the word. That was just Jeremiah the fifth chapter. It is December the 29th. 2022 and we are reading god's word for our lives here we just finished our old testament reading in jeremiah thank you for coming on please like and share the video uh, there is a late night with the word fan page on facebook please go over there and give it a thumbs up we appreciate you liking and following us amen as our videos are posted to there you can watch our videos there you can catch us live there and also, there is a Late Night with the Word YouTube page. If you are on YouTube, please go over, like, and subscribe to YouTube with us. Amen. So that we can grow our community of believers. We can share God's Word together. Amen. On our 
fan page, please feel free to post uh, events happening in your church, uh, positive information, positive events uh, directed toward serving God and worshiping God are all welcome. Um, if something's going on and you want to promote that, definitely post that. I will review it and we'll get it up there. Um, if you have something encouraging word, guys give you a word, please share it there. So go like our Facebook page. It's for everyone. Um, it's for the community so that we can all come together in one accord. Amen. Serving and um, worshiping God uh, for our lives. Amen. So this is Late Night with the Word. And we are about to read Matthew, the 25th chapter, our New Testament scripture. So I ask that you get your Bible out. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. It's December the 29th, and we're almost done. We are about to start reading our last scripture for the night, which is Matthew, the 25th chapter. So if you have your Bible, grab that out, turn to that, and follow along. Amen. We are almost done with the book of Matthew. We have been reading Matthew for a couple of weeks now. And Matthew is one of Jesus' disciples. He was a tax collector who also documented Jesus' ministry in his life as he saw it and as he walked with him um, he has been giving us details of the things that jesus has been teaching the disciples and to the multitude of people who have been following him he has been chronicling the sadducee the sadducees and the pharisees plots and plans and their opposition to jesus and how they have opposed jesus left and right and how they have stood in the way of Jesus Christ. They uh, don't believe in him. They think he's a fraud. Um, they think he caused too much trouble. Uh, he's stirring up and he's ruining the things that they have established. Um, but those two enemies have come together um, on one accord to, to come against Jesus Christ and to seek to discredit him, but he is continuing to teach his word. He just taught them for the last time, talked to them for the last time in the temple. He left the temple. He continues to teach in the wilderness. Amen. And now we are he's still listening to Jesus' final teachings of his life. Amen. And in his ministry, we're in Matthew, the 25th chapter. We got three more chapters after this, and then we will be completely done with the book of Matthew. And I appreciate everyone who has followed along and came along with me um, on this journey as we have read Matthew um, together, Lord's will. We will finish it together. Please like and share this video on Facebook. Continue to uh, join us and follow along with, your, with us in your Bible. Amen. New Testament reading, Matthew, the 25th chapter. The Parable of the Ten Virgins. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flask of oil with their lamps as the bridegroom was delayed. And they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a cry. Here is the bridegroom. Come out and meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, since there is not, since there will be, since there will not be, enough for us and for you go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves and while they were going to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut afterward the other versions came also saying lord lord open to us and he answered truly i say to you I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you need you know neither the day nor the hour. 
For it will be like a man going on a journey who calls his servants and entrusts them with his property. To one, he gives five talents. To another, two. To another, one. To each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who received five talents went at once and traded them, traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Not after a long time, the master of those, serv of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here, I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, you have what, what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scatter no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has 10 talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But for the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness and the place where it will be weeping and gashing of the teeth. The final judgment. Then the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him. Then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, truly, I say to you, as you did to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Then he say to those on his left, 
depart from me. You cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you did not welcome me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also were answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Truly, I say to you, as you did not do it to the one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous enter into eternal life. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. So Jesus Christ is teaching the people and the disciples about the kingdom of heaven, about how the kingdom of heaven is, how it's like, then the kingdom of heaven will be like in ten virgins. We must always be prepared. We never know when Jesus is coming back for you. We never know when it's our time. We never know when it's time for the master to return and for us to prove and show what we did with the talents and the things that he gave us. Did you bury it and keep it for yourself? Or did you seek to multiply and share what was given to you? For you know your, your master's nature. He doesn't, he sows where he doesn't reap, right? He's, he's master of all. He gathers, he's about multiplication. He's about um, increase. He's about getting value for the things that he gives out. And yet some of us take the things that he gives us and we bury those and we keep those to ourselves. And we don't share those things with others. But Jesus gives us our talents and gives us those things so that we may multiply and that he, we, he may be glorified and that his kingdom may be expanded and exalted. So those things that Jesus Christ gives us and those things that God has given us is for us to use those things. Spread God's word, be disciples, be good and faithful servants of those things because the master is coming. You do not know when the master is coming, but he's coming. He's on his way. Do not be like the foolish virgins waiting for the bridegroom but not being prepared for all that you need. This is a long walk. This is a race that we must endure to the end, but we must be prepared. We must be ready for the time of the bridegroom who is Jesus Christ coming. We cannot allow his delay or his seemingly delay keep us from being prepared for his return. Or if you're not where you're supposed to be when he returns, you will be left. We read yesterday, one will be taken and another left behind. Just do as the parable of the ten virgins. Five were taken, five were left behind. Because they weren't prepared for what, when the Jesus Christ came, when the bridegroom came. We too must be prepared for our bridegroom. For there is a final judgment that will be had for the righteous and the unrighteous, the sheep and the goat. Do you have a goat mentality? Are you willing to be obedient? Or are you stiff necked? We have to ask ourselves are we goats or are we sheep? Which do you wish to be? For it says that the goats are cast into eternal fire. Set aside for the devil and his angels, but the sheep enter into eternity and into the eternity with Jesus Christ. Do you want eternal punishment or do you want our eternal life? I choose life. I hope you choose life too. Jesus Christ is good and worthy to be praised. Study his word for your life. Trust him for yourself. Know that 
He is coming. Do not allow the delay and us waiting for his return. I know I've been hearing about Jesus Christ coming back since I was a kid, right? He hasn't came back yet, but he's coming. It's not a delay that we should be slothful and unmindful and unready and un and unwaiting and unwilling to be where we're supposed to be. Bring enough oil for your lamp. Keep your light shining so that it may not go out so that it may be shown shine, shining bright when the bridegroom comes so that you can make your way to him. Because without your light and without your lamp, you're in darkness. Make sure you have enough oil for your lamp. The bridegroom cometh. Be ready. Amen. God bless you. Lord's will. We have Bible Story Friday tonight or tomorrow night. It'll be our last reading for the year. And we will return after tomorrow. Lord's will. We will be returning in the second week of January. And when we return, we will be live on Facebook and live on YouTube. So Lord's willing, come join me and my sister in Christ as we continue to read the book of Exodus. We started in the plagues. We're still in the plagues. They just started. And we will be reading for your hearing the book of Exodus, Lord's will. God bless you, and I thank God for you. I love you, and I appreciate each and every one of you who get on. I thank God for God's word. God's word is true. Let us not just be hearers of his word, but doers of his word. Let us be ready for our bridegroom. Find yourself with oil, shining a bright lamp, so that when the bridegroom comes, you may be taken with him and receive your reward. Amen. God loves you, and so do I. I appreciate you. Thanks, family, for getting on. God bless. Please like and share. Don't forget uh, Facebook, Late Night with the Word fan page. Go give it a thumbs up. And also go and subscribe to YouTube, Late Night with the Word. Go subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't forget and that there's new videos, that you know when there's new videos posted, and that you can always go and um re what is it replay late night with the word whenever you want god bless you i love you peace mm -hmm.